Good day to you, RoboLinux customer. I am John Martinson, the founder of RoboLinux. Welcome to the RoboLinux Windows 7 C Drive to VM Support Step 1 video for Windows 7 in our three-part series of short and easy to follow instructional videos. So let's go straight to Windows 7. And what you'll notice is, is that, um, just like you, I have the zip file. In your case, you downloaded it um, after making a very kind donation for our technical support staff who will be able to assist you. And um, when I extracted it, and you should have extracted yours. That was in our instructions in the email you got. And so I now have this folder here. And in this folder, we have uh, three different things. We have cheat sheets, okay, and each cheat sheet is labeled by 1, 2, and 3, and 1A, 1B, and so on and so forth, so you, um, you know um, from the step instructions uh, which one to click. And each step instruction is a text file that is named after each video, step number one, step number two, step number three. Um, and there's one program in here, and it's um, this is a program called Dist VHD. It's going to allow you to take a raw copy of your C drive and put it into a VHDX file format, which you can't use um, in VirtualBox. But don't worry, that's what the Stealth uh, VM software does by RoboLinux. It on the fly it will convert that to a highly portable. Um, compatible VDI format for you that you can then um, do so many different things um, and we'll go into that in detail um, as we proceed. So now we're in uh, the video uh, step one and A says that we need to check our C drive total disk size to determine whether it exceeds 127 gigabyte um, disk to VHD size limit and don't worry about that limit because after you have um, in, you have gone through your um, one-click install with RoboLinux Stealth VM software, you then can resize it um, to 500 gigs or you know terabyte or whatever you like. Uh, the point is we want to get that C drive in there, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So, for reference, it says please click on the cheat sheet 1A. This is going to show you how to check for the hard disk drive C and see how big it is. And I'm, I can see that mine um, is a 99.8 in this example. Let's check it again in real time. Go to Start Menu, go to My Computer, and we look at drive C. And this drive C has a total size of 99.8 gigabytes it does meet the requirement of the maximum 127 but for this demonstration I'm going to um, emulate that I need to shrink mine because it's a 500 gig drive or a 250 and most Windows 7 users probably will have drives of that size um, so the next step B is to plug in your external drive or load your cloud drive and I have both. Here's my external, and um, then I have my cloud drive over here, and I'll be using the cloud drive because it's really quick. Uh, the external drive is a little slower, and I don't want to waste your time, but nevertheless, I show it to you because you probably will be using an external drive. So C, C is the next step, and that's to copy all your data folders from your C drive user folders and any other data that you have on drive C to the external drive or, or the cloud drive. And this is very important because we want to move that data off of there. We're later then going to transfer it to drive E in the RoboLinux Stealth VM uh, system or software. And uh, you also want to make your uh, drive C as small as possible, and then this process will go um, very fast for you. And there's no sense in leaving your data in drive C unless you have to. So, But you might forget something, and you can, of course, go get it and drag it over to drive E. For the reference on this one, click on 1C. And it shows you um, that we've loaded drive C and gone to the user 
and we now have all the users folders and we can just simply drag them across into the external drive like that okay and I'm gonna do that for you so here's my external drive right here except I'm gonna use yeah I'll use my external drive and I'm gonna go to um, start and go to computer and then I'm going to here I'm just line stuff up go to that C drive and go to users and go to my name which is my user users and I'm gonna drag I could just drag all of them at once if I wanted to but I don't want to waste too much of your time so I'm gonna drag my downloads folder into this external drive and as you can see it's copying it and there it is and I could have moved um, my documents okay and it moved them all there for me and I could have moved my music like this and so on and so forth and so you want to go through this process and again don't worry if you forgot something it's not going to be a problem you'll be able to find it when you load your uh, Windows 7 VM um, using the uh, RoboLinux Stealth VM software in any Linux operating system by the way all 500 of them so this is a fairly lengthy one you can see how slow the external drive is and it says it's got 15 seconds remaining but oh there we go good we're almost finished and I'm going to be using the cloud drive to actually move the drive C to because it's so much faster so enough of that uh, uh, external drive right now but we'll leave it plugged in um, and on this one um, the next one is D for defragment your hard drive C and that's after you've copied your data and you've made your drive C as small as possible and you need to do this at least a few times um, you've got to tighten up that drive otherwise it's going to take a long time to uh, create um, the drive the drive C into a, or to uh, convert the drive C into a VM um, essentially copying um, into a single file and so the more you defrag it the faster it'll move and for reference you can click on the cheat sheet 1D and what that shows you is that you would load your control panel from your start button and you'd go to system and security and you just click on the defragment your hard drive you've probably done that um, for many years actually decades uh, because that's what um, Microsoft has been using they went from DOS to DOS with Windows and then some more DOS with some more Windows and then Windows 7 with DOS and then Windows 8 with DOS and so on and so forth and that's a DOS file system and it has to be defragged Linux doesn't require that because it's a modern operating system and what it does is it saves the data contiguously in blocks that are side by side so they never have to be defragged what is important in step number one is if your drive C exceeds 127 gigs in size then you need to follow E and F below okay and E is if drive C exceeds it then please load your control panel and click on the bottom right create and format hard disk partitions and we're going to do that um, let's load the cheat sheet while we do it 1F so it's kind of a nice guide here control panel system and security so control panel and system and security and then down here and this loads this um, disk management tool and as you can see you'll, all the drives are there even the external um, and we're just going to click on drive C and we simply right click it and we can go to shrink the volume like that and that's what you're going to need to do now I'm going to go load that shrink volume it takes a few seconds and show you how to operate that I don't need to shrink mine but I'm going to show you how to operate it so we can shut our cheat sheet down and there's uh, uh, let's see here this this cheat sheet right here is going to show us exactly how to do this now it's a little bit tricky so be sure you do the math correctly total size before shrinking is the actual size of my drive and the actual size of yours and yours if it exceeds 127 you're gonna to need to reduce it 
and so enter the amount of space to shrink it down okay and if I were to shrink mine down 50 gigs I would end up with the number down here of 40 something gigs so pay attention to that and check it before you start shrinking um, and of course you know you've got your data um, already backed up so don't be too worried about that I'm gonna cancel and that is going to conclude the step one video for Windows 7 I will see you or hear you or <laughs> I will talk to you on step two video in a moment.